Today on Drawly, Ben is drawing. Click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. And share your work online with hashtag Drawly. Yes, I am drawing in this one. I'm doing three more portraits just like my last video, focusing on the same basic idea where I'm doing most of the work during the early stage. And uh, I gotta say, I figured out a lot more about this process by doing this. Specifically, I learned a lot more about failure. Oh my gosh, failure? No! Yes, our good friend failure. Now, I think failure is important. Uh, failure is actually something that I intentionally seek out. Uh, but it really helped me learn a lot about what not to do and specifically what to avoid in the future which is just as helpful as learning what to do. Uh, very often, I don't learn like what to do from painting. It's just me slowly learning what not to do. I have an old analogy uh, that I heard like forever ago, like probably a decade plus uh, when I was getting into digital sculpting. And somebody mentioned it on one of my videos recently because I used to talk about it in old, 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 old live streams. And they were like, yeah, I've been listening since the poop sandwich. And Holy <laughs> cow. I don't even know what that is. And I don't know if I want to. So the poop sandwich analogy is a really good one, I think. Uh, and the idea is that like when you start making art, you need to stop thinking about making good art. And you need to start thinking about making less crappy art as you go. And the idea is that you start off and you're trying to make a sandwich, but you're making a poop sandwich and it's got poop on it. It's not a good sandwich. No. Nobody's gonna eat that I sandwich. I hate this sandwich. <laughs> Most people do, I would assume. I would hope everyone does. Yes. But over time, you start making less poopy sandwiches. And eventually, yes. you're gonna get to a point where there's no poop on that sandwich, but it's still just two pieces of bread. Yeah. So it's pretty boring, right? But eventually- it's So boring. Eventually, you're gonna, you're so boring. You're, you're looking at me with the most you know what? And eventually, I think if my sandwiches had poop on it up to this point, then I would not regard two slices of bread without poop to be boring. Go exactly. Ahead. <laughs> so, at least there's no poop on it. <sighs> so then you start getting to a place where you can finally put ingredients on your sandwich. I feel like the two of us are at a point. By the way, 50 minutes. Very not nice. very good. Uh, it, probably my worst one out of this uh, set of Ooh, three. Ooh, we have so much to look forward to. Yeah, I've I've, I've been learning a lot. This is my favorite oh, out of nice the three. Nice reference. Yeah, thank you very strong uh, uh, contrast between lights and shadows, as well as that rim light nice on, coming palette. from the back right. Anyway. So uh, I feel like the two of us are at a stage where we are no longer putting poop on our sandwiches. Oh my God. Or we're very close to- This just doesn't get better. We might have just a little turd. I hate sandwich. this analogy. <laughs> I'm gonna rewrite this analogy. I feel like we're getting very close to a point where we have learned a lot of the basics. Obviously, we still need to work on our fundamentals, our basics. Okay, yes. Uh, yes. But we, we're getting to a place where we might start experimenting with those ingredients ah, on top. Ah, yes. Uh, but right now, specifically with this assignment, I am like super honed in on the fundamentals of the early stage, trying to get the most done during the early part of the process while just foc focusing on like big ideas. Yes. Yes. Okay, so yes, you are- So obviously you don't like the poop sandwich analogy. Why would I like that Why? analogy again? Because <laughs> I think it's a really important distinction to say, I'm not trying to make good art because I am nowhere near a place where I can make good art. Mm. I am simply trying to make less shitty art. <laughs> I see. Well, it is a good analogy in communicating the ideas. It is a bad analogy in communicating horrible visual <laughs> images that I never want to visualize. <laughs> but good job with your analogy. I'm glad it has served you well mm -hmm. and that people mm -hmm. remember it. Well, there's maybe a reason I haven't talked about it or mentioned <laughs> it in like 10 years, okay? <laughs> well, clearly it sticks because you're someone person meant, uh, Or this person just like found one of my old live streams. They're probably up somewhere. They said they've been listening since then, so probably yeah. they really have been, and that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, congratulations on reworking the bread of your sandwich, whether or not there's poop on it. Mm, um, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad that As you, you can were... see, I've toasted my bread. Um, I was gonna say maybe now you're working with like a whole grain ciabatta or something versus yeah. just like 
white bread. Dixie. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Wonder now. bread. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I would like to learn to make ciabatta. I'm just trying to get... What bread did you make the other day? You focaccia. Focaccia. But I used focaccia. really old flour. Like, I used two different bags of ancient flour. Ancient grains. And they were ancient grains. No, one of the flowers looked yellow <laughs> compared to the other one. Oh, what? Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to, but I was... That's how... That's how, um... What's it? Cordyceps. It started infecting humans. It In The probably, Last of Us? Yeah, it probably got into the flower. Oh my god, I just made his cordyceps bread. Wow, I'm gonna turn into a mushroom Me boy. too. <laughs> well, well, it was a uh, nice last episode <laughs> of Drawly, I guess. I guess we're gonna be mushroom people now. Well, I wasn't sure it would be good with the whole wheat flour. I thought your bread was good. Thank you. You, you said you didn't like it. I don't really like it, but I think I did some other things other than the flour that I didn't care for. But this isn't the show about bread making. It should be. <laughs> this is a show about drawing, and by the way, that drawing looks freaking awesome so far. I love your contrast and values, and your like contrast and hues as well. Your hues go really well together. And I, I realize that's in the reference, but you represent that here very well. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm trying to take these ideas. I, I feel like this type of work is so powerful and I, I I don't know like what it takes to get to this point, but it definitely took a big mental shift to start wanting to work on this early part of the process of, you know, 20 to 40 minutes, like I said. So th there's a little longer than 40 minutes. That's like 50 minutes, but I really like this because it helps me focus on what is most important mm -hmm. without delving too deep into the stuff that doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Something I tried this time, which I didn't think was actually all that successful, was I started with a color palette first, yeah, uh, and then I played around with uh, a couple sliders to adjust oh. the colors and get them more in a homogenous zone. Oh, that's of, a like, really cool idea. Pools. Yeah, it kind of it kind of worked, but I. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay. So if uh, people did not see my last video specifically, I would highly recommend going back and watching it to learn more about the the steps of this process. Uh, you'll see a little bit of that more here, kind Step of broken one. down. Where sketch the sketch starts. Okay, you know you know, I know the steps it. I'll now. Tell okay. them. Step two: underpainting, which I learned is the painting that goes under the sketch. See underpainting wow beautiful yes and then uh step three you will never guess it, do you not know it i do know it okay what is <laughs> overpainting over <laughs> so the what what's so different about overpainting versus underpainting abby the overpainting goes over the sketch well it's important to distinguish i think that the the stages for underpainting specifically involve just adding the base colors for everything in the base shadows mm -hmm. Uh, so you're adding your shadow shapes, and that's it. And then for the overpainting, you start adding highlights and then adding more shapes. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt like this one started to get away from me, but I ended up reining it back in a little more. Mm -hmm. um, but it was on its it was on its way for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting how that works. I've done that too, where I've been drawing something, and partway through, I don't know where what kind of sauce I'm getting lost in. Where I just look at it, I'm like, what is happening here? And I have just a lack of experience. Yeah. Yeah, well, and at that point I realized, for me, I have a choice to make. I'm like, do I just paint over a bunch of work that I just did that clearly has gone nowhere? Ooh, or, or do I keep going and try to modify this work to make it, wrestle it into doing what I want it to wrestle do? Wrestle it, yeah. Yes. And I have done both choices in the past and found success or not success in both directions. It just depends on how much time, typically, I have to give or interest, I guess, in that moment. This is looking awesome. I love the way you uh, render your irises. They're always so, um, I don't know, consistently nice. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I just paint them the same way I do, or I would do for, um, you know, a 3D eye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, I know. It's so funny to think how different it is your 3D art versus this 2D art, just night and day. Yeah, I, it, I mean, I think it's very apparent when I can sculpt a pretty good head in like an hour or less, and then 
I can't paint a pretty good head in an hour when 2D is so much faster. But that there's 32 nice. minutes yeah. for that one. Awesome. So that that's the idea. I'm trying to... I guess I've shifted a little more back to quantity. We kind of talk about quantity versus quality mm -hmm. a lot. And I've kind of gone back to that encampment for right now that to work best. on quantity uh, a little more. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad that you, you enjoyed that middle one and nothing else that I did here. Wow, yeah, very rude. Yeah. No, I didn't enjoy anything else. Just that middle one. No, I like them all. Very good job. And yes, quantity over quality. And Can... if you want to like them all, you should click that subscribe button. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. Share your work online with hashtag Drawbly. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goomba. Which one is your favorite? Uh, the middle one. Yeah, I yeah, is it? Is it? No. <laughs> but, uh, look, the first one was rough, but I, I'm learning, okay? You're I'm learning. Figuring, you know? You're doing a good job. Wow, wow you say I'm good, doing a good job, and then you start laughing. Nuh-uh. God, rude. <laughs>